Hi and welcome. My name is Solon and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at two individual topics. First, we'll look at finding cell contents, whether that be a number or a specific word within a given worksheet or within a given workbook. And then we'll look at how to find and replace text or numbers within a given worksheet or given workbook. So with that, let's get started. If you want to follow along, go ahead and download the exercise file 09.06. You can find a link to this in the description of our video. Okay, so let's say that you want to find all the instances of Tom. Maybe we have an instance of Tom here. There's an instance of Tom Matthews. We have another Tom down here, Tom Smith. And in order to do this, you could visually look for all of the instances of something, but there's a specific way, a specific tool that you can use within Microsoft Excel to achieve the same purpose. And that you can go ahead and go to your home tab. Once in your home tab, you would go to the editing group here and then to find and select. Clicking this icon will bring a drop down menu. And once you have these individual choices, the first one we'll look at is find. So you can click find and it will bring up the find and replace dialog box. And the first thing we'll just look at is typing the word Tom. So we'll type in the word Tom and we'll then you can sit hit either find next and we'll find each individual instance of Tom in this existing worksheet, or you can say find all. And then if we scroll up and widen the appearance of this dialog box, you can then see all of the different instances of Tom. So there are apparently 14 cells that have the word Tom in it in this specific worksheet. And if you click on any of these individual items, it would jump to the instance that specific cell that has the word Tom in it. Now, a second kind of option you might want to do is go to find and select. You'd bring up the find dialog box and then there's this icon here, this button that says options. If you click on options, it would bring up this series of individual options here. And again, you'd have your search term. You can set formatting, which we're not going to do, but you could say only look for format that is in red font. That would be an option. Um, the second kind of set of options are if you want it to look within the worksheet or maybe the entire workbook. In this case, we only have one worksheet, but we could have multiple workbooks. So the second set of options is whether you want it to search horizontally, so row by row by row by row, or if you want it to search by columns, so up and down like that. And depending on what data you have, it may make more sense to choose one of these two options. We'll just leave it at rows for now. Second, you can look in formulas or the values or the com comments. Again, in this simplified worksheet, it wouldn't really matter, but this is something that you can experiment with on your own time. We can then go ahead and do something like match case or match entire cell contents. So if we were to not check either of these boxes, when we go to find all, it will find 14 instances. If we were to say match case because Tom is capitalized, then when we go to find all, it will find six instances. The other instances were here in the uh, email addresses. If we were to switch that so that it was lowercase, if we look for all cases, it would be again 14. And then if we say, I want only lowercase, if you find all, there'd be eight. So there are six uppercase toms and eight lowercase toms, meaning that there are 14 total. So that makes sense. You can also say, I want to match the entire content. So currently we have cells which have things like email addresses. So if we were to select this individual option, it would only find the instances where Tom is the single word. So here we have a Tom, here we have a Tom, here we have a Tom, and then this say this cell is not showing up because it's Tom Matthews. And this cell is not showing up because it's Tom Smith. And this cell is not showing up because it's Tom Fitzgerald. And over here we have tom.fitzgerald at techcompany.com. So if we were to mark this box, it means that it would only find things that are specific to the exact entry here. If we uncheck that and then we go to find all, we would again find 14 instances. Okay, so 
not only can we use that to find uh, find numbers, but we could, I guess, find characters or, or text. We could also use it to find numbers. So we could come up here and go to find and then type in the number 75 and then find all instances of 75. So there is only one instance of 75. But what you can end up doing is you can go ahead and actually search for things like finance. So if you wanted to, you could select a specific selection. So if I only want to limit my search here to column G, then I would select column G. We're going to go to find here. As an alternative, you can use the keyboard shortcut control F. So if you press control F, that would launch the find dialog box. And then we can find every instance of finance. Let's say go to find all. There are six instances of finance. So what we can do is we can go ahead and replace something. So maybe the finance department is actually finance and accounting. So if we want to do that, we could come up here and we would select the second choice of replace. So we would define finance of which there are, oops, of, let's undo that. We would go here and go to finance and we want to find all. There are six instances of finance. So we can say replace that with finance and accounting. And watch what happens here in column G. So we can either replace one by one or we can go to replace all and it would make six replacements. And now when we come in here, it's, well, technically it's finance and accounting. So we already had replaced finance there once. So let's do that in one simple step. So we'll go to find replace finance. We'll replace it with finance and accounting. We'll go to replace all and six replacements were made. So therefore, when we have that, it would, uh, it would make those changes. So there's lots of different things that you can do with the find and or find and replace options here in Microsoft Excel. If you want to find something, you can go ahead and click the find button here in the home tab. And you can find everything like Tim. You could find all instances of Tim there would be currently three instances. So here, here, and here. You could also use the find and replace dialog box by coming here and going to replace. We could say replace the word tech company. So tech company. If we were changing our domain name or maybe our comp company name was going from tech company to tech experts, we could do that and then we would replace all, and then the email addresses would automatically update, right? So now it's Tech Walker, Jack Walker at techsperts.com rather than tech, my tech company or techcompany.com. So there are different things that you can do with the find and replace dialog box. In the next video, we're going to look at using spell check within Microsoft Word. We'll get some of the nuances of how spell check usually just by default will check the spelling of items in one worksheet, and we'll look at how to make sure that you can check everything in your entire workbook. So join us for that in the next video, and we'll see you again soon.